Hey, what's up everybody? It's Luke and you're watching Luke the Gathering. I feel like it's been a minute since my last video. Uh, we've been in Duskmorn. I've been really enjoying Duskmorn and um, playing at the store and playing on Arena. I've been a little busy to make um, some deck videos, but since I just participated in the new Foundations pre-release sealed, um, I decided, you know what, I gotta make a video. I did a, a deck yesterday uh, for the first day, which was Friday for Friday Night Magic. It did not do that well. I thought it was a great deck. It just didn't do well. And then today was the second day, Saturday, and the deck did better. Two and one. I won two and lost one game. And uh, so I was happy with the result. Uh, even though I thought this deck wasn't the best, I thought yesterday's deck was better. Uh, we'll go through today's deck and see what we have. First of all, we have Niv-Mizzet, Visionary. Uh, it's a 4 blue red for a 5-5 five, five flyer. Gives you no maximum hand size, which doesn't really matter that much, I guess. But it says whenever a source you control deals non-combat damage to an opponent, you draw that many cards. This card did nothing in this entire deck. Not because it's bad. I never drew it, so this actually never hit the battlefield. I was actually kind of sad about that, that it never hit the battlefield. Here's a lowly card that I always drew, Gleaming Barrier. Um, my deck, I guess you could say, is kind of mid-rangey. So something like this to sort of hold off some of those aggro decks. I thought it did fine. Artifact, Creature, Wall, Defender, 04 for 2, and when it dies, it turns into a treasure. Um, maybe not the best card ever, but I guess it was functional in my deck. It, um, it, it withstood a lot of, uh, little guys trying to come in. So I appreciated this card. The Mocking Sprite, uh, two and a blue. Instance of Sorceries cost one less to cast. This is another card that I rarely got into play. So, um, I don't really have much to say about this card. The Light Shell Duo. This is actually from a recent set. From Bloomborough, um, it's Prowess, Surveils 2 when it comes in, 3-4, decent body, I think. De it was pretty decent in Bloomborough, and I think it was pretty decent for me as well. Fae Bloom Trick is really cool. Um, it's an instant, you get to make two blue fairy creature tokens, and you get to tap an opponent's creature down when this comes in, so you can wait for their turn, like you're, you know that you're going to get attacked, you can play this and stop an attack by a certain creature. Um, you can also block X1s with this out of nowhere. Um, really nice. Heartfire Immolator. Uh, this is for two. That's prowess. I think it's a decent, solid 2-2 two -two for two. You can also sacrifice it deals damage equal to its power to a creature or planeswalker. Crackling Cyclops, not bad in, in an is it sort of blue red deck. Uh, two and a red. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, this creature gets plus three plus oh until end of turn. And there's no limit on that, so you can, you know, I guess hypothetically cast as many instants um, or as many non creature spells, I should say, as possible. And this can get really, really big really, really fast. Ah, this is just like the fairy one, except it's for the goblins. Uh, you can either make your uh, team plus 2 plus 0. Oh, that can end the game sometimes. Or you can make two red goblin creature tokens, which is also really nice, again, for surprise blocks, things like that. Fanatical Firebrand. It has haste. It's a one drop. You can sacrifice it to deal one damage to any target. Not bad for a one drop, that's for sure. Goblin and pirate, too. Seer Slicer Goblin, uh, this has Raid. The beginning of your end step, if you attack this turn, create a 1-1 Red Goblin creature token. So, you know, if this thing's attacking, it's probably going to die. Uh, your opponent's probably not going to want to give you a 1-1 Red Goblin creature token. However, um, this thing actually doesn't need to attack. Something else can attack. This thing can be on the board, not attacking, and you could get that 1-1. So that's how this card worked most of the time. Uh, another card with Raid. 
when this creature enters. If you attack this turn, so you can like play this during your second main phase. X all the top two cards of the library, choose one of them, and you can play one of those cards, or play that card till the end of your next turn. I used this card pretty effectively today. It was nice. Uh, worked out really well. Think twice. Um, draw a card. Flashbacks for two and a blue. Really simple card right there. Micromancer. When this creature enters, you may search your library for an instant or sorcery with mana value one. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle. It's a 3-3. Three, three. So pretty decent body there. Um, these were not the best things to search for, but uh, they are things that I did search for. Gives creatures a minus one, minus zero until end of turn. But then it also lets you draw a card and replace itself. So I thought that was good enough. And then Burst Lightning, I only had one in the entire sealed deck, unfortunately. But that's the thing I would probably usually grab, unless it has already come out of the deck. Here's a one mana Witness Protection. This came from New Capenna. It makes a, could potentially make a really large creature just a 1 1. We had a really great one last um, time in Duskmorn where it made something a 0 2. Um, 1 1's, you know. They can still do damage to you, so and block effectively. So um, this isn't as good as last time, but it's only one blue. I kept it in. I didn't have a ton of removal, so I really wanted that. Even red, you know, I didn't have tons of removal. Uh, sure strike. This gives first strike and plus three. It's a combat trick. Balmor, Battle Mage Captain. This is why I wanted more instants and sorceries in my deck, because you know you keep playing them. Gives things trample, keeps giving them plus one on the power. Um, it can go nuts really fast with this card. Uh, really great uh, signpost and common, in my opinion. Wasn't sure how good this card was going to do Electro Duplicate, but it did really well. Um, for three mana, two and a red, at sorcery speed, you can create a copy of a target creature that you control. Accept it as haste, and at the beginning of the next 10 steps, sacrifice it. Also has flashback for two and two red. And what was great was I had these guys, um, the Tolerant Terror, the Grappling Kraken. These are things that I actually would, was able to get on the board. And to Electro duplicate them, that won me the game a lot of times. And so um, I think that was a really big surprise for a lot of people. Scrawling Crawler was awesome. I really like this card a lot. Um, it's a Frexian Construct artifact creature. At the beginning of your upkeep... Your upkeep, each player draws a card. So you get extra cards, um, but when they draw it, they lose a life because every time they draw a card, they lose a life. Really sweet. And lastly, Time Stop, kind of a weird meme card for four and two blue. It's an instant, you end the turn. This card actually won me a couple games. It just came out of nowhere. They weren't expecting it. It even beat an Itali, which was really, really special uh, to do. So that was really amazing, and I thought Time Stop was a very, very solid card. Um, I had a chance to actually do a Selesnia deck today um, at the 11th hour, literally with three minutes left. I changed my mind. I scrapped it. That deck had hardly any rares in it. I wanted to try stuff like this, Time Stop, and some of the other cards you saw. Scrappily just put together this blue-red deck. It did well. Uh, I don't know how well the blue, white, or sorry, the green, white deck would have done. Had a good amount of removal, lots of low to the ground creatures, but this deck was fun to play, and uh, I think that's what the important thing was when doing this uh, particular activity. So, thanks for watching. Hopefully, Foundations will be awesome. Uh, I'll be playing it a lot more at the store. Hope you enjoy it too. I'll see you next time.